Chris, it took them 10 seasons, three heartbreaking losses to the Detroit Shock in the playoffs. But the close but no cigar motto is now off the Indiana Fever, for they have taken the final step. It feels so good to be able to come here, especially winning on our home court. You know, um, they've gotten the best of us the last three years, and to come out here our fourth year, be able to step it up down the stretch, just like we picked up on 10 3. We had a great time we were doing it, while we were doing it, and it just feels awesome. Man, this team worked so hard all year long, training camp, battling injuries. Uh, through all the talk that we couldn't do it in the, in the beginning of the year, that now we did it and we're going to our ultimate goal, the championship. And it's just been, it's a, it's a feeling of elation and joy and all that. But to get past that big roadblock of Detroit, the Fever did the little things. They out-rebounded the shock by one and in the fourth quarter, hit 17 of their 19 free throw attempts in getting that elusive conference crown. And I was extremely disappointed with my free throw shooting last night. Um, you know, we got in the gym this morning. I took uh, a whole bunch of free throws uh, just trying to figure it out. I wasn't worried. And, uh, you know, different people stepped up at big, uh, different times. That's a test to our character. And um, it's crazy because we came in here this morning and we probably shot free throws for about 30 minutes. And um, down the stretch, we were clutch on the line. I don't know how many free throws we hit in a row. Was it 16? And that won the ball game. Ebony Hoffman's two free throws. Tammy Sutton Brown's two free throws. Every time they, they got hit a shot, we got fouled and we hit our free throws. You're out there on the court. It's like what you're feeling now is only half of what you're going to feel, you know, when we win that championship. So, you know, everyone enjoy the next 24 hours. But you know, we're back on the training track tomorrow. Not tomorrow, actually. Sorry, Monday. We're back preparing, focusing again. And now that they've broken through one barrier, the Fever now have to worry about the next starting the WNBA Finals for the first time in franchise history on Tuesday. Larry Hawley, IndySportsNation.com.